most civil structures are very strong and very stiff, which is normally very good. Think of being on the top floor of the Devon Tower in Oklahoma City, and you don't want that thing shaken back and forth too much when the wind picks up. However, in a strong earthquake, high stiffness can lead to high forces in the structure, which can result in a lot of damage. My research seeks to mitigate the amount of damage caused in an earthquake or in a structure by an earthquake by selectively causing that structure to behave as if it were weaker. We call this apparent weakening, and it's pictured by the graph on my slide, which is experimental data which we obtained by testing this structure like what's shown below. We bent the structure over and measured how much force it took to cause that bend. When we do this with the structure alone, we get the top line of the graph, which shows that the further the structure bends over, the more force goes into it. Again, probably resulting in more damage. When we engage our negative stiffness device, which is here in the middle, the behavior changes. Any motion across the structure is transferred into the device by the cables, which rotate the lever arms, which stretch or contract the springs. We modeled mathematically these effects so that we could precisely select the correct geometry and stiffness of the device. This gives us our desired behavior that's shown in the black curve on the graph, which shows that under small motions, there's very little change to what the structure normally does. As the, as the structure push, deflects further over in like an earthquake, the negative stiffness device begins to pull it further along, which may seem counterintuitive, but it actually provides exactly the result that we're after, which is this apparent weakening force plateau right in the middle of the graph. This means that even as the structure bends further over, there's no increase in force. We don't want our building to be pushed all the way over, though, so at the end, we add stiffness. We took this device and put it on a shake table and subjected it to earthquakes back and forth. We also simulated those earthquakes on our numerical model, and those results agreed with these results, that under a strong earthquake, when the device was engaged, we measured reduced forces in our structure. My research so far has proven that negative stiffness is a potential answer to seismic safety, that a device such as this could one day be used to design buildings to resist strong earthquakes, and as cliche as it sounds, we can find strength in weakness. Thank you.